Donald Trump took to his Truth Social platform to voice his support for the new Louisiana law that requires the Ten Commandments to be displayed in every public school classroom. I love the Ten Commandments in public schools, private schools, and many other places, for that matter, he wrote on Thursday, June 20th. Read IT, how can we as a nation go wrong? This may be, in fact, the first major step in the revival of religion, which is desperately needed in our country. Bring back TTC. He concluded. That same day, late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel pointed out that Trump has either broken or seemingly encouraged others to break most of the Ten Commandments. Kimmel brought up a comedic slideshow with pictures showing exactly how the former POTUS disrespected the biblical rules. For thou shalt have no other gods before me and thou shalt make no idols, Kimmel implied that Trump and his supporters think of him as a sort of godlike figure. He also said suggested that Trump was taking the Lord's name in vain by selling Trump campaign Bibles. He shared a picture of Trump golfing for Remember the Sabbath Day and Keep It Holy. When he got to the commandment about honoring parents, Kimmel quipped, I'm gonna give him that one. He has his mom's hairdo. For thou shalt not kill, Kimmel showed an image of a gallows at the Capitol, referring to a source's claim that Trump allegedly expressed support for MAGA fans who wanted to hang Vice President Mike Pence during the January 6th riots. He then shared a picture of the controversial politician with his arm around adult film star Stormy Daniels as he read out, Thou shalt not commit adultery. As OK previously reported, Daniels claimed she had a sexual encounter with Trump in 2006, one year after he married his current wife, Melania. When he got to the commandments banning stealing and lying, Kimmel referenced the businessman's civil trials that found him liable for business fraud and defamation. Finally, the television host comically shared a picture of President Joe Biden in front of the White House for Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Trump critics took to act formerly known as Twitter to join in on the playful jabs. One user penned is this hilarious. Number 10 really got me. In some mixed up world that is Trump's whole motivation. He wants back in that house. And another added, this is brilliant and oh so accurate.